So for months and months and months, I've driven past these beautiful yellow wildflowers on the side of the road on the way to pick up my son or drop him off to daycare. And of course, what I'm doing is very transactional. It's like I'm taking him or I'm picking him up. And it's, um, yeah, sometimes I stop and I pick some flowers because for a long time I've wanted to make a flower crown and I was like how cool would that be that it'd be so fun I've made a flower crown probably twice maybe three times in my entire life most of the time I haven't known what I was doing once was at a friend's hen's party where we had lots of stuff and you know I think we even had wire and things to you know make it more doable <laughs> so Today I picked the flowers and I did what I have been doing in the past when I parked the car, which was carefully grab the flowers and put them in a bag and kind of go, well, maybe, maybe a bit later, maybe I'll take them home. And what always ends up happening is I get them home, they look dehydrated, they look um, uh, just crumpled and bad. Like I get home by boat. So I don't have a very secure way to just place them in the car and then drive into my driveway and take them out into the house or anything like that. So today I did that and I found myself doing it again. And I was like, how many times even in the last two weeks, probably two or three times that I've picked the flowers and not made the freaking crown. So today I sat in the car until I had put them together. So it's not a perfect crown. It doesn't go all the way around my head. I did not pick enough flowers for that, people. But I learned a lot in the process. I had a great time doing it. And I just was like, you're not getting out of the car until you do this crown that you've been wanting to do for so long. So now I may be able to go home and get some bobby pins and put this in my hair. Um, or not. Or not. Sometimes it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, right? Sounds so cliche. But really, I learned a lot doing it. I had a great time doing it. It brought me joy. And now it can bring me more joy if I decide to wear these today. So, what is it in your life? What play, what joy, what enjoyment, what relaxation, what peace are you denying yourself or brushing past? Or saying you'll do later or starting the process towards and then stopping. Think about it because there's definitely something in your life and I encourage you today to go that step further, to take it all the way, to do the thing that you've been wanting to do because so much brilliance awaits you. And I know, and this is what I said to myself today, I know that when we do these things, when we play, when we follow our creativity and our uh, just desires, the things that we're wanting to do, the things that we're inspired to do, so much good comes from it. And it, it comes in surprising ways. You can be, you know, simple things. Just being more happy within yourself means you're more happy within your relationships, means you're more happy within your work, means you're possibly more productive or more creatively inspired. It just flows on. So do it. Go do it make your daisy chain or daisy headband whatever that is for you have a beautiful day and i'll chat to you soon